Well, it may be the most wonderful time of the year, but it's unfortunately almost also, also the deadliest when it comes to drunk drivers. Team 12's Mitch Carr shows us how one couple who lost their son are coping and what they hope others can learn from his death. He should be here with us. No parent is prepared to plan a funeral for their child. After 24 years of a life well lived, this box is Stephen DePatry's final resting place. A drunk driver killed him in 2007, and his father and stepmother miss him dearly. He was just cool. Everybody knew him and knew how good he was and stuff. But all I got wasted because this young lady wanted to do what she knew was wrong. Mothers Against Drunk Driving says drunk drivers kill more people between Thanksgiving and New Year's than at any other time of year. About 10% of all drunk driving deaths nationwide happen in this time period. We call it the high holidays of drinking. Judgment is the first thing to go when people start drinking. Mothers Against Drunk Driving is bringing back its Tie One On campaign, placing these red magnets on cars to remind people not to drive drunk. We're not against the, uh, the aspect of people drinking. It's when you get behind that wheel. We want people to have fun. We want people to have a great holiday season. Just do it responsibly. And in Chandler, you'll see those red ribbon magnets on Waymo cars. Waymo and MAD share the belief that autonomous driving technology can help save lives. They're kind of hard to miss, and so the ribbons will be hard to miss too. And they're all geared toward reminding drivers who are planning to drink to also have a plan for getting home that does not involve driving drunk. There's no reason to be drinking and driving. Mitch Carr, 12 News. All right, Mitch, thanks. This is the third year that Waymo and MAD have teamed up. And if you're living in Chandler on top of Uber, Lyft, and Tipsy Toe, you can call a Waymo to come pick you up.